All right, well, mail just showed up, and uh, I thought this might be a good opportunity to uh, make a little short video. And this thing, and I may do some more of these. So I've been trying to put this practice in place where I've got one small thing a day uh, that's an inconvenience or kind of aggravates me or something that interrupts my workflow or it may just be something that needs to be handled that's a that's a quick chore and uh so i thought i'd make a quick video of that and what i'm going to do today is the post brought this coupler which uh this is a ram brand uh it's made in china it's some new stuff it's cheap uh but it seems decent I actually thought that when I bought this, I was just looking for this top piece here. Uh, well, not just the top piece, but this latch and the coupler that goes under it. Because I've got one of these hitches on a uh, portable squeeze chute that has been missing this since we got it like three or four years ago. And when I move it, I have to, <laughs> I have to do some less than safe stuff to... Uh, to transport it, which I don't drag it down the road, but I do move it out of the barn. And in the future, I'm gonna to need to move it down the road to another piece of property. So my quick video today is going to be removing this assembly out of this hitch. And uh, because this one is, uh, or the one that I'm fixing is welded on to the trailer. So I'm just gonna pop this bad boy out of here, take it out and uh and go install it in the other one and uh hopefully it all works so that looks about like a three quarter inch so let's go over here and uh we'll go three eighths drive let's go deep well three quarter grab us a ratchet make sure it fits yep that's all good Set you guys up over here kind of out of the way. And I'll see if we can see if we can get this thing apart. So you kind of gotta push that thing down on there. It's got this little uh I don't know if you can see that, but it's got these little locking tabs. Kind of keeps that and that spring loaded. Keeps that nut from coming off. But if you press down on it, you can push it past those tabs. And uh, back it out of there. I didn't intend on buying this whole hitch, but that's how it came. I really thought it was just the repair parts, as cheap as it was. I think I paid about $15 for this. So that's a pretty good deal, in my opinion. Of course, it requires me to get it all put back together right too fortunately i got this video here all right so spring coupler plate washer another spring uh we'll call that the nut retaining plate and the nut boy that's a handful all right, we got it. Get our tools, get you guys. Let's go have some fun. So here is our Prefort squeeze chute and the aforementioned hitch missing all these pieces that I have in my hand that I hope will fit. Uh, like I said, this one is welded on, so I see no need to cut that off. Uh, I'm just going to put these parts in and uh, hopefully this thing will be safe to tow down the road again. 
All right, so I got my loose assembly back here. So the very bottom will be our nut, nut plate for lack of better term, nut plate spring, the washer, and then this, uh, I guess you could call it the ball catch plate. I don't know, whatever. The big spring that holds it. And then this should go through the top. So far, so good. That spring there will come up underneath it. And this thing, you gotta make sure you got this the right way. So this tucks underneath your ball. So you're gonna want it forward. And this is a lot to hold on to, so. And you got this funky washer with the uh, flat edge. That flat edge should go forward also and let it sit flush. So, let's see if we can get that under there. Oh, having a little trouble. There we go. Next will be the short spring. nut plate you want those short ears pointing down oh yeah yep 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 and this nut i should have caught a video of it or a picture sooner but the uh the bolt that this threads onto you want that thing just far enough out of that nut to uh get in that nylon uh lock area you don't want it too tight. You can snug it up if you feel it's needed, but uh, usually right there at those threads is good. So you get your three quarter. You wanna push down on that while you're doing that and get that out of that retainer. Take a feel, yep, not quite there yet. little bit more oh yeah that's perfect Let's see if it actuates feels pretty good I might go over and grab a two inch ball just make sure it locks in good but I tell you that is a lot more secure and uh, Make me feel a lot better about towing with this, this unit. All right. Oh yeah, that's good. Oh yeah, perfect. Get the pin in, good to go. So, I actually kind of boo-booed here a little bit. I'll see if I can get you under there where I can show you. You see that little silver tab sticking down there? Well, that piece right there behind it, that tab actually has to hook over the top of that. And uh, I didn't get it in there. So, if you're fixing one of these on your own, you might want to check that out. So, I actually went to, everything worked fine with no hitch. Uh, I was going to test the hitch, make sure it would clamp on there, and I couldn't even get it in there. So, a little investigation, I found that. So, we're going to correct that and uh, try again. Also, as a sideline, the ladies are wrestling. So, a little farm entertainment. We don't have much out here. All right, let's get you guys set up. Try that again.
This part here is basically the same spill as before. Push that lock plate up for that nut. Get that nut off of there. Be the nut nut retainer plate small spring funky washer and that should have should have that loose so what we're going to do this pin that goes through here this big pin that has to hook over the top of it so we're going to go at it a little different we're going to go ahead and hook that in I get that spring in there at the same time. It's kind of a kind of a mouthful. Let's try let's try going in with that loosely. Put the spring on the bottom and then hook it under there. Oh yeah, that feels a little better. Okay, so got that tab hooked. Feels pretty good. Yeah, I can see how that'll work better. Okay. This glove off, I can feel what I'm doing. Funky washer, flat part going forward. Small spring. Nut retainer plate with the small flats going down. And, and then the nut itself. wrench on there like I said you really just want that uh, bolt portion that threaded portion sticking out just enough that that nylon locking area is fully engaged so about one thread or maybe a little less out of there all right see if this fits that feels a lot better seems to work good take our two inch receiver Oh yeah, I like it. Maybe the next thing we ought to do is get rid of these hokey safety chains and put something proper on there. But at any rate, that's my short for the day. I hope it's useful to somebody. And as always, if you don't feel comfortable doing something like this, by all means, take it in, find you a professional trailer shop. But for a few dollars, I was able to repair this get it back on the road. I didn't have to take it to anybody. Didn't need anybody else's expert. And the only tool I really needed was a three quarter inch socket and a ratchet. Honestly, you probably could do it with a pair of pliers if you wanted to bad enough.